Hello everyone. Today we are going to replace the SSD of a Surface Laptop 4. I have searched on YouTube on how to open this particular model, but I only found videos of the other models that contain the Alcantara fabric covering as opposed to the aluminum finish. So I decided to make a video on how to open these metallic cases instead. Please note that you will have to replace the rubber pads at the bottom of your laptop as well as your SSD and you will see why. First, you are going to need the SSD replacement. I personally bought a Kingston SSD of 500GB from Digikey.com. I found other brands of SSDs on eBay, but I don't recognize them very well, so I decided to go for something that I am familiar with, such as Kingston. Whatever SSD you decide to buy, you have to make sure you buy the M.2 2230 type of SSD, or else it will not fit in your laptop's SSD socket. Next, you are going to need a suction cup. You can find a very nice kit on Amazon for $10. It even comes with extra tools to make your computer opening journey much easier. As you can see, you can also use it to open up smartphones as well as tablets. Finally, you are going to need the replacements for the rubber pads that will be removed from the back of your laptop. Please make sure that they are 8 millimeters in diameter. Okay, the first thing to do now is to create a system image of your computer. A system image is an exact copy of everything that lives in your computer, including the operating system. So if your computer's SSD stopped working for whatever reason, you will have a system image that will serve as a backup for when you decide to replace that broken SSD. In order to create a system image, you will need an external hard drive or flash drive that is big enough to store a system image of your laptop. Let's get started. Go in the control panel and click on Backup and Restore. Click on Create a system image. Now you want to load that system image into an external drive, so click on, on hard disk. Now plug in the external drive that you will use to save your system image to. I am using a 1TB hard drive together with a SATA adapter that has a USB connector. I am going to plug it into my laptop. Now that we have our external hard drive plugged in, click on refresh and see if it shows on the drop down menu. Click next. Here is showing you all the components that are about to be backed up into the system image. Click Start Backup. While this runs its course, I'm going to fast forward the system imaging process. Here is asking me if I want to create a system repair disk. I am going to click No because I already have a bootable Windows USB that I can use to load the system image using the system recovery tool. If you don't know how to create a bootable USB drive to install Windows, there are tons of videos on YouTube explaining how to do so. Now comes the tedious part of the job, and that is removing the rubber pads underneath the laptop in order to get to the screws. As you can see, these rubber pads are quite difficult to remove without ruining them. This is the reason I suggested buying a spare set. Now we can go ahead and unscrew the screws that hold this laptop together. For these types of screws, you are going to need a T5 Torx screwdriver.
Now that the screws are out of the way, we can use the suction cups to open this laptop. But first, please make sure that your laptop is completely powered off. One of the cool things about these laptops is that it is being held together by magnets. So gently lift up the cover using the suction cups. If you have long fingernails like me, I guess you can use them to help you open the laptop apart. Now we can remove the SSD, and as you can see, it is being held by only one screw. It is a little uncomfortable to hold the laptop open with one hand and try to unscrew the SSD with the other, so if you can get someone to help you, that would be great. Now that you have removed the SSD, you can replace it with a new one. Once you have screwed the new SSD in place, gently place the computer top back together and let the magnets take care of the rest. Now let's put those screws back on. Now I'm going to plug my bootable USB so that I can launch the recovery tool to load the system image we created earlier. The computer will automatically load the system BIOS. From here, you have to change the boot order so that you can boot into the USB. Also, you must disable the secure boot from the security tab. By having the secure boot option disabled, you will be able to boot into your USB without any issues. Once you make the changes, click exit and restart it now. The computer is now attempting to boot into the USB.
OK, we can now see that the Windows setup is ready to go. However, it is not recognizing any of the keys that I press nor the trackpad. Whoops. Luckily for me, I have a spare mouse that I can use. So let's plug it in and continue with our work. Now that I have a working cursor, I'm going to click next. Do not click on install it now. We want to click on repair your computer instead. Click on troubleshoot, system image recovery. Now plug in the external hard drive where you have the system image stored and click retry. Now we can see the image we created earlier. Click Next. Click Next. Click Finish. Here is telling you that the SSD that is inside your laptop will be erased and then used to install the image we created. Click Yes. Now the computer is loading the image we created. You may get a message saying that this SSD is not encrypted and is advising you to consider encrypting it later on. Click Yes and let it run its course. Once finished, click Restart Now. If everything went well, Windows should launch just like before you replace the SSD. Now, let's open up Windows Explorer and see our new SSD. But something is off. I thought we installed a 500GB SSD and it still shows as if we had a 256 SSD. What is going on? The reason this happens is because we have to tell the computer that it has a larger SSD installed. Let's go ahead and do that. Click on Start. Type Disk Management and let's allocate the unused space into the new SSD. But now we have a new issue, and that is the healthy recovery partition is on the way. Because of this, we won't be able to allocate the unused space. What do we do? We need to download a software called AOMI and it will allow us to move the healthy partition out of the way. Open up a browser and type AOMI Partition Assistant and click on Download Freeware. I already have this software in my computer. Open the application, click on the healthy recovery partition we wish to move and click on Resize Move Partition. Now, click and drag the healthy partition all the way to the right and click OK. Click the check mark that says Apply and then Proceed. Once finished, Go back into the disk management and you will see that the healthy partition has been moved out of the way. Now we can go ahead and allocate the extra unused space into the SSD. Right click on the local C and click on extend volume. Click next. And next. And finish. Now it looks like we are using the entire SSD. If we open up Windows Explorer, we will see the difference.
Now that we have our operating system up and running, we can go ahead and replace the rubber pads at the bottom of your laptop. As you can see, the 8mm pads fit in perfectly. I meant to buy the black ones, but I ended up getting the clear ones because I had them in stock. Congratulations, you have now replaced the SSD of a service laptop 4.